Welcome back to the Brennick Channel. Today we are talking about the Colorado River and Lake Powell and Lake Mead also. Stick around, we have more details coming up at you. Welcome back to the Brennick Channel. It is June 14th. It is a Friday, 2019, and we are talking about Lake Powell, Lake Mead, and the Colorado River Basin. Would this be the year that Lake Mead actually takes a turn for the good instead of the worst? Last year we were talking about possible shortage and cutbacks, but this year we had an exceptional amount of snow in the Rocky Mountains. And that leads us to Lake Powell, where, where the water level is rising rapidly. They are saying that Lake Powell is rising 6 to 15 inches a day. And they're suggesting that people park at least 200 yards to 400 yards away from the lake edge just in case the water comes up and they don't get submerged. So you better take their advice because they know what they're talking about when it comes to this. And it's a good thing because they really need the rain. People have speculated before with Lake Powell being a lime-based bottom and walls that the water is being sucked in and going who knows where. I don't necessarily believe that, but it could be, I guess. Maybe some expert out there would know a little more than me, because I'm not real sure on that. But anyway, more rain with it rising 6 to 15 inches a day, and hopefully it lasts for quite a while throughout the summer. Hopefully it lasts all summer and fills that reservoir up would not be a bad thing at all. Be kind of an inconvenience if you were going to be there. You'd have to be... Larry, they say not to leave toys out along the edge because toys could get washed away, causing debris in the lake, and they don't want that either. So you got to be mindful of what you leave laying around and pick up after yourself, as always. I always do. It's important to me. I would hope it was important to everybody else. But Lake Powell's level has increased. Inflows are at 75,291 cubic feet per second. Outflows are at 14,023. That's awesome, and the elevation is currently at 35.95. Lake Pool is at 104.87 feet below full pool, so elevation is 3,700. Lake Pool is at 3,593, so it's got a long way to go to get to the top. We will definitely need a lot of rain or more snow this winter. To possibly fill that up. But hey, if they get super heavy thunderstorms this summer that causes flash flooding throughout the mountains, that thing could fill up pretty quick. You just never know. We'll definitely keep an eye on it. As we go down to Lake Mead, we will see what the levels are. And they are at 1,085.47 feet. The level is 143.53 feet below full pool of 1,229 feet, so it's a long, long way, 104, over 143 feet away, and it's actually rose the last two days. Yesterday it rose 0 0.04, today it's rose 0 0.05, which is trending up, which is a good thing. We'll definitely keep an eye on that. The winter pool is 915 feet. And we will definitely keep an eye on it. This is over at Hoover Dam. This was recorded today at 4 p.m. as you see here. So, this has been the Debrenic Channel. And I will definitely keep an eye on all the lakes, rivers, and anything else water-related. I take very good interest in it. If you guys have a lake that you guys want to see, leave a comment. Or if you know something about the lake or something that I don't know, please leave a comment also. All comments are welcome. Just keep them civil, please. And you guys have a blessed day, and we'll see you next time on the Dubrinic Channel. Peace.